What up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gem Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, we have a guest today making a comeback to the YouTube channel scene, talking about the superhero genre once again on the YouTube waves. Mr. Freddie Maloney is in the house. What's, up, What's going on, you guys? What's going on, fellas? You know, I listen to you guys a lot, you know, whenever I can. But I listen to you guys. You really guys, you guys are really interesting to listen to and definitely uh, hold it down really well. So um, um, I'm really happy to be on this show and um, chop it up. FYI, he's not getting paid for none of this. Just Wait. Not Wait, what? Money. But now we have Mr. James Gunn teasing the possibilities of a DC MCU crossover, Brian and Freddie, which I want no part of. I hope I am not around for that. Um, there is no reason for it. The DCU has not, Brian and Freddie have not established themselves as worthy of being on the same screen as MCU, and it will possibly not happen for quite some time. The only reason, Brian, this ever gets done is for the purposes of saying we did it first. Your thoughts on this, and then we'll go up to Freddie and, and see what he has to say about this. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a worst case scenario. Now, I, I think James Gunn is he's playing a little bit. Like if you read the comments, he's like, I'd be lying if I said we haven't discussed it, but it's many years away. The odds are a little higher because I'm an executive now. He's not dumb enough to think that the quick and easy path to success is some kind of Avengers Justice League crossover. Like he, he's not dumb enough to do that. I think all he's doing is like it keeps the clickbait going. It keeps people talking about it. I don't think he's serious. I mean, he's even kind of saying any discussions they've had have been very lighthearted. I'm sure. And I think to your point, there's two there's two universes in which this happens. The first is the MCU and DCU are rocking and rolling, and this is like their heat check moment, and they just are going to kind of do it because everything is working. I still don't want to see it, but that's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario is the opposite, is MCU keeps slumping, DCU flops right out of the gate, and they do it out of desperation for the money. Freddie, is that the only scenario you see? Because I, I, I just don't see it happening in our lifetime. Freddie, what do you think? I think that it will happen, and I probably won't be around. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think it will happen. I just don't think I'll be around to see it. I think, of course, more than anything, the fans definitely want to see this happen. Um, it was some. I disagree with that. I, Go ahead. I think there are a good, a, a good amount of fans that's definitely going to want to see this. But you're right, listen, it's DC and, and or not Marvel, but maybe DC have to really um, build up their whole universe and get themselves together, you know, and that's going to be a while. It's going to be a while, but I mean, yeah, right now it's a lighthearted, fun conversation, you know, with, you know, with James Gunn. He's feeling himself. I think this is just him saying what perhaps have have has happened in terms of conversation he's not you brian you know that he's always honest about um what conversations he's he's had or what he's thinking about you know nate nate moore talked about this a couple of years ago when things were riding higher and i thought he summed it up pretty well which is he kind of said like part of the issue with this idea is that neither side of the fence would ever accept playing second fiddle to the other and and he meant that and he said it like if it's a versus situation no justice league like no one who's a fan of the justice league no one who's a writer or a character in the justice league is going to accept losing to the avengers and vice versa yeah, and if just... it's a if it's a team up scenario either side is not going to accept being the sidekick to the other and so his his point was you couldn't write an ending to that type of story. The elephant in the room is who owns these properties in the end. And at the end yes. of the day, we, we can't defeat, like we, you'd be Pablo's out there floating DC for sale every day. $100 billion. Could you imagine a world 
where DC and Marvel are acquired by the same parent company. If that ever were to happen, then this absolutely mm. will happen, whether we like it or not. The reason it mm. won't happen today, in large part, honestly, is because you're talking about crossing over two different studios, and that's not okay. going to happen. He did say something which is kind of like a Captain Obvious, but it's still reassuring to me, which is that he said tonally, Superman Legacy is going to be very different than anything he's done with the Guardians or the Suicide Squad. And you and I have talked about this and said this is a necessary ingredient for this to be successful. So it was nice to hear him acknowledge that he has to expand the toolbox to make Superman Legacy work. So that actually I thought was the more impactful comment in the near term that he made recently. He realizes what yes. needs to be done, Brian, and we constantly have this conversation about what Superman and what tonally, what it perhaps needs to be. And we've also discussed the things that James Gunn has done in the films, in his prior films, that it can't work with, it won't work with this. And so he's talking, that talk, Brian, that makes me say, okay, let's keep going. It's not directly related, but it kind of is, which okay. is... We just saw at the box office, if you hit nostalgia and tone and look just right with something classic, you can get a billion dollars off the shelf. And Superman is that kind of character. I realize I just put Superman and, and a plumber from Brooklyn in the same <laughs> comparison, but the point stands is that, that you're talking about a lineage and a character that has a lot of meaning to a lot of people and it's kind of a throwback type of enterprise if they keep it classic, look at what people just did for something that looked and felt a lot like their childhood. Just saying. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of uh, the latest comments from James Gunn regarding DC and a possible crossover with the MCU just because he's in charge. I mean, he's certainly keeping us... Uh, he's tantalizing us with these suggestions of possibilities but certainly keeping our expectations at, at the helm and not letting us overreact with the with this happening anytime soon, which is hooray for the genre. Because when that happens, it is absolutely over. Ooh.